Residents in Rolling Hills Estates are on edge tonight, anxious to learn the cause of a devastating landslide that has destroyed more than a dozen homes. Twelve homes have already collapsed. Another five have been red tagged, and it's unclear if insurance will cover any of the damage. Residents are also concerned about rising crime in the area. KTLA's Mary Beth McData is live in Rancho's Palos Verdes, where a community meeting was just held tonight. MB. Hi there, you guys. Yes, the Rolling Hills Estates Assistant City Manager says that unfortunately it is going to be a very slow process to try to determine the cause of this slide. Beginning this week, geological engineers are reportedly going to start the process to try to determine if it was indeed from the rain, a leaking pipe, or something else. With the homes, we have 12 red tags. The Rolling Hills Estates landslide was a popular topic at a town hall in Rancho Palos Verdes hosted by County Supervisor Janice Hahn and Sheriff Robert Luna. A city official was also on hand to discuss the latest on the slide. As for the cause, she says it's still unknown. Uh, we don't have an assessment right now until there's a full geology report. The um, additional five yellow tags, once there is still repair, they should be cleared to, to return. We don't have a timeline says the tax assessor is working to make sure these now homeless residents don't have to pay a huge tax bill come November. As for still having to pay their mortgages, that's unclear. We don't have an answer on the mortgage question, but we are connecting them to resources directly to help them navigate that question. Crime, including the couple who were caught allegedly burglarizing the now vacant Pear Tree Lane homes, was also discussed. We arrested two people, recovered the property from two of those places that have been red and just so you all know the level of dedication that Crooks put in stuff. The female that was involved in this crime lived in hysteria. A current LA County Deputy DA and PV resident blames such crimes, which he says are spiking on the peninsula, on LA County District Attorney George Gascon. One of the reasons we have that is the district attorney of this county doesn't want to prosecute misdemeanors, he doesn't want to prosecute felonies, he doesn't want to put anybody in custody, he wants to give violent criminals mental health diversion. He continued to call out Han and Luna for supporting Gascon. However, both distanced themselves from the DA. I don't agree with everything this current DA does. Uh, I do not, have not, and you were mistaken, sir, when you said I supported Gascon, or he supported me in my campaign. That's not true. I supported Jackie Lacey. Uh, that was for my endorsement. Why? She was the former DA. She lost. Uh, so you have it wrong on uh, me supporting. No, I'm not uh, supporting for three elections. And Han says that she is also going to be working on trying to find the funds to shore up another problem spot on the peninsula, which is Palos Verdes Drive South. It's apparently in jeopardy of falling into the sea. For now, reporting live here in Rancho Palos Verdes, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary